from SavvyVegetarian.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make Mediterranean rice salad. This salad is one of our favorite summer recipes. Full of goodies, chewy and crunchy, and bursting with flavor. It comes together very quickly. There is a little chopping involved, which I will demonstrate. And if you'd like to know more about how to chop vegetables with a chef's knife, just go to SavvyVegetarian.com Look in our cooking section under cooking tips and you'll find it, how to use a chef's knife. Now let's get started making Mediterranean rice salad. You can use this method to make any salad with cooked grains, beans or lentils, cheeses, nuts. Mediterranean rice salad calls for cooked brown rice, cucumber, basil, spinach, red pepper and scallions olives, toasted pine nuts, black beans, or feta cheese. Since I'm making half the recipe, I'm going to use half of all the ingredients. So first I'll slice this cucumber in half. Then peel it. This isn't one of the kinds where you can eat the peel. Peel will be bitter. So off it goes. Well, this is a young cucumber. No big seeds in it, so I'm not going to bother to seed it. I'm just going to quarter it lengthwise. See, small seeds. And then chop it in slices. Now for the olives. This recipe calls for Kalamata olives, but I ran out of those. So I'm just going to use some regular old black olives and chop them up. You can get very precise about this. Slice them in nice even rounds. Or you can just chop them coarsely, very quickly like that. I don't think it makes a lot of difference. Your salad's going to look really pretty and taste yummy anyway. Now I'm going to chop up some fresh basil. There's the basil. Smash the garlic a little bit to loosen up the peel. inside there. Mix up the garlic. Keep your fingers back out of the way. Mix it up. I'm going to use two tablespoons of oil. Keep the garlic in the oil. Recipe calls for red pepper. Use about half of that. I'm only making actually half of this, half of the recipe of the salad. Today it's a huge salad. Great to take for a picnic or a potluck. But there's only the two of us here, so we don't want to eat it for a week. <laughs> I've got my garlic sautéing here and I'm going to add the red peppers to it. Give them a little sauté. Just to make them tender crisp. I'm going to chop some scallions to put in.
Now I'm going to chop my spinach. I'm using baby spinach. That looks chopped enough to me. Now I'm ready to put together the salad. All the peppers and garlic, add them to the bowl. So there I've got the lemon juice stirred around in the pan to get the rest of the oil and goodies. I'm adding that to the bowl. I'm going to add in my salt and oregano and pepper. Then I'm going to add in my three cups of cooked rice. The full recipe calls for about six cups. Mix that together with the oil and lemon and garlic and peppers. Get it nicely soaked into the rice. So now I've got all of that mixed up. I'm going to add in all my goodies here. No olives and optional black beans, toasted pine nuts, scallions, chopped cucumbers, handful of the chopped basil, the chopped spinach, and give it a good stir. Now this salad, after it's marinated for about an hour, the spinach gets a little bit limp and kind of blends into the landscape a little better. And all the flavors have a regular love fest going on. Give that about an hour to marinate and then we can eat it for lunch. Thank you very much for joining me as I made Mediterranean rice salad. You can find the recipe on our website at SavvyVegetarian.com. Just go to search on the website and look for Mediterranean rice salad, it'll pop right up.